money work, how to have my money make money for me, but also be able to teach other people because I'm not selfish. But uh, let me tell you something. When Shanita reached out to me, uh, we were in a, a group together, uh, like a trading group, and she sent me a message and uh, said, hey, you know, I'd like to start a team. And, um, and I was like, huh, okay. I didn't know who she was, but I was like, you know, still cordial. Um, but then when we sat down to talk and we, we finally got to know each other and she told me her story, I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, I was blown away. But um, let me tell you, I, I, I've been trading, but sometimes that no matter what level you are, okay, the word says, how the saying goes, when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. Well, I knew some things, and some of the things that I learned, you know, sometimes you can see things but not understand the depth of it and, and the meaning of it and how to utilize it properly. And so when she came into my life, she opened up a whole other realm that I was missing. And so my training now and, and how, she, how you're talking about looking at patterns and seeing it, you know, on the charts. I saw it when, when he pulled it up. I already saw it because she trained me to see it. And let me tell you, this woman is phenomenal. She has a work ethic that you wouldn't believe. In fact, we, we have to tell her, please get some sleep. Please, you know, because she's, I mean, when she goes in, she goes in. And like, when we'll go to sleep, and she's like, oh, I've been up all night trying. And, and let me tell you something also that I love about her. I tell her, I say, whatever charge you put out, send them to her. Because her charge tells so much of a story. And I learned, I learned a lot just looking at her charts. And I told her, I said, you know what? You need to open a museum and put your charts up. We call it chart art because that's what it actually looks like. It looks like a work of art. And she's phenomenal. There's nothing that, that, that you can say uh, bad about her because she gives so much to people. Amen. Free. All right? And what I did in seeing value, and I told her this in the beginning. I said, I'm the type of person my dad taught me this way. If somebody does something for me, I want to give something back in return to show my appreciation. So what I did, this was private, but I said, you know what? You didn't charge me anything. I remember one day I said, you know, what, what do you usually like to go for lunch? And I think I said like 25 or 50 bucks cash out, just to say thank you. Um, when it came out for, um, what was it? What was it? Oh, Houston. I paid for a ticket. Amen. And then I was I was going to surprise her. I was going to pay for the Dallas convention. And I wasn't going to tell her. She's like, why don't you pay my ticket? I'm like, why don't you just give me a chance to do something? Right? <laughs> right? Because that's just how I am. That's good. Right? So that's no one ever gave her any money. No. But I showed my appreciation by what I did. And let me tell you, she anytime I needed her, she was there. And times when I you know didn't need her, she was there. And she'll call me, hey, how's it going? This and that, hey, let's get on the charts and whatnot. I mean, she is straight gangster on the charts. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't, I mean, I'm telling you, don't take her life and her appearance. She knows how to trade and she knows how to flip this money. So I thank God. <coughs> and she'll tell you, I mean, I get emotional. And. All right. You break joy, tears of joy in my eyes. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I because my agenda is not a selfish agenda, it's a kingdom agenda. Because yes, right. I pray, and a lot of you probably heard my story when I talk about my, being a pastor and whatnot, and, and I say, Lord, I don't want to be no pastor, but if I have to, I don't want to make any money from the church. I say, I want to do whatever I do for you at no cost. But bless me with my own business. This is at 10 years old, and at 19, I went to business. Right? And I've been in business ever since. And I didn't go to school for business. It's a gift because I asked and he gave it to me. Yeah. Now, I, I realized, you know, I wanted to help finance the gospel at all costs. And I said, Lord, I can't give millions of billions if I don't have it. <laughs> so he introduced me to trading many years ago. But then Forex came in my life. We were doing stock options. In fact, Andre and I, we teamed up with some guys, gave us some money, and they blew the money and whatnot. 
But Forex, when Forex came in my life, I was like, you know what, Lord, this is just what I've been, I, I wanted to get back to trading. And you know, you don't know how much it meant to me when I met her. And we fight, we argue, we go back and forth like, like little kids and whatnot. And then we, we kind of kiss and make up, so to speak. <laughs> but um, I cherish her so much. I mean, I don't give all, I don't even have the right words to say to, to show her the gratitude that I had experienced because of what she shared with me. Because she didn't have to. And then she allowed me to open the door to share with other people. And I remember I was out with Andre one night. And I said, man, you need to talk to my coach. I called him my coach. I said, Coach Cook, I'm on point, boy. And so he was like, man, what is this? What is this? So I said, man, here. And I just gave him the phone. And they started talking. And then they put it, they, they started putting the, the ideas together in the summer camp. And she had already thought about stuff like this. We had already been talking about it. So when Andre came on board, just another catalyst to help ignite the situation. And I just thank God for everybody that's here um, because this is a dream of mine also, just to see everybody being blessed, heading in that right direction to get paid. Yeah.